What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Dark Castle for the next episode of Dying Light the Following. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as I run back to my vehicle. That has been the overwhelming story of my life the last 10 minutes or so. I ate some Fritos, though, so that was pretty cool. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a snack break since they bled me dry today. I had to go get, like, a diagnostic thingy done. I don't know. I just don't know. Like, last couple days, I've just been sleepy all the time. And I've just been, like, hella tired, even though I'm sleeping, like, 13 hours a day. I've been able to do my workouts and everything. Like, everything seems to be cool. It's just... I don't know, everybody. I don't know. Hard to put my finger on what's going on right now. And my doctors seemed to think that it required testing, and so they took me there, and I squirted blood into a bunch of tubes. They were like, ah, oh, this is so metal. And I was like, well, spraying blood for the overlord. I, I normally sing in falsetto when, when I get blood drawn, because it is one of the most metal things you can do, giving blood. I assume that they take that to the blood god, and he tests it now, and through some mystical scientific voodoo, he'll be like, this blood is super metal. I'm like, you goddamn right it is. I don't know what I want to do today. Haven't really decided. We can do storyline stuff, or we can just run around being gangster for a while. Doesn't really matter none to me. It looks like we've got a missing person around here somewhere. So they push pin where my missing people are? Well, fine then. And what quests do I have? We have the mechanic, meet Bilal, and then destroy a volatile hive. Hopefully not while I'm inside of it. So where is Bilal? Where are you, sir? Is Bilal way down here? Well, that's a cave. Oh, he's up here. Well, then, if that's his gas station, let's ride. I can't guarantee that, like, weird things... How do I smash shit? I want to smash some shit. Oh, I just, like, smash shit now? Do I smash, like, people? Or how do I make this work? So that counted, obviously. I don't think that zombies count, though. They don't appear to be counting for me. This challenge is tougher than I expected it to be. Here, where's some more shit for me to break? Let me break some stuff. Can I break that awning? Nope, broke my car, though. If I break my car, does it count as me being super successful at Smasher Challenge? Hmm. I don't see anything destructible so far. So let's assume that I just, like, weave my way through these fences. Yeah, that'll do it. I think it's going to take more effort than this. I should have thought about this before I started. Should have thought about it. I'm out of the car now. Mission failed. I don't care anymore. That's right. Take down with the time. See if I care. I don't mind. Not going to make me cry. Not even a little. I've got things that I can sell, so I'm going to what the hell. I'm going to put this throwing axe inside your inventory. A do-it-yourself grenade. That seems like a risk that I'm not willing to take. Oh, I can just press C. Well, that works, too. We got some pouches. We got some. Let's sell all of our valuables because apparently this guy's got a thousand dollars to spend. He's selling underwater, or no, he's buying underwater algae. He'll sell us Pit Fighter though, which is pretty sweet. There's a camo military rifle. There's a baseball bat. That gets me kind of excited. I kind of want that. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I want it. That's that's all that matters. That's all that matters, Nerd Castle. Do I want it? And if the answer is yes, well, my wallet's just gonna have to take the hit for now. Ah, we failed. We failed so miserably. You have lost and you were the worst. Go die in a fire, NZE Splattercat, because you fail at smashing things. But I did level up my driving skills, so that's pretty sweet. Excuse me, you, uh, you the oh, owner no. here? No. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh, that's Nori, my brother. Kyle Crane. Pleasure to... Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I, I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah. Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected? You don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is, still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. 
And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. If you want to be helpful in the long run, take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once-over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. Ah. Oh, cool, we got paint jobs. That's pretty sweet, and he counts as a quartermaster. All right, so basically the way that this works is quartermasters regularly stock, like, random items. And so you can go back and you can grab some of these things, and it will save you looting time, like, no joke. When you, It's not as important right now because our character's high level, like, reasonably high level anyways, as far as the game is concerned. I don't know how multiplayer works in this. We got Slam. I forgot that I even had that. You have to have, like, a two-handed weapon, I think, and then you got to, like, look at somebody while you're in the air. I remember it was a little bit weird to execute. We've got a whirlwind attack. Hold and release with a two-handed weapon. Okay. There's multi-throw right there, too. Instantly kill stunned enemies. I should probably take that. We've got most of our tree filled out, so I'm thinking most of the fun stuff is going to be in our new driver tree. We can do mechanic level one. There we go. We can make buggy parts. This is better than making buggy games. There's far too much of that in the world right now. We've got the Haran Strikers bat. We've got the katana. And then where did my... Where did my gun go? Oh, man, I thought I had a rifle. That could be troublesome. It's okay, though, I think. That has no repairs left, so we'll probably want to swap it for the military machete that we picked up a little while ago. Now would also be the time where it would be smart to do upgrades before we start using all this stuff. I'm going to take the Haran Strikers bat. It's got two empty sockets. So what I'm interested in is anything that increases durability. There's no use having a weapon if it's going to break after like eight seconds of me using it. And so that looks pretty good right there. We'll confirm that upgrade. And then for the military machete, we'll put a titan on it. We'll put a pit fighter. And we'll probably leave the other one empty maybe. I don't know. We don't have a lot of upgrades right now, so that's fine. So we've got engine parts. We can actually get this thing moving. And then he wants me to help out. Fuck. Power must be offline. Well, you want to help us out with it? What happened? Power to the people. Difficulty hard, huh? We got this. I'm not afraid. To do. First off, get this fuse to Ali at the plant. He can't do shit without it. Once you get the fuse to him, we'll get the power back. If he can keep from electrocuting himself, I mean. Guy thinks safety precautions are for pussies. I did see a guy trying to dig a broken light bulb out of the socket with a steel screwdriver while the power was on. <laughs> yep. Sounds like Ali. He means well anyway. So, listen, friend. Two things need to happen. One, like I said, get him this fuse. Two, we need a working insulator. Or the fuse blows as soon as he flips the switch. He says the old ones will hold, but fuck me if I believe him. Can I get inside this aid box over here? No. All I really want is your stuff. Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but your stuff should be my stuff. I desire it. And normally in video games, that's all it takes before I just commandeer that shit. Um... From the players to- oh yeah, put on the new outfit that we got. It says fight on our chest, so I assume that maybe it would make us better at fighting. I was wrong. Granted, I was wrong. Not the first time, not the last time. But sometimes you gotta take a chance on something, you know? Sometimes you gotta take a chance on it. Let's go work on this quest right here. We need an insulator on the power pole. I'm gonna refuel this thing right here, too. I don't have that much gas, but I got enough. If I wanted to upgrade my vehicle... How do I do that? So what kind of upgrades do we have though? I also, I want a better paint. Yeah, that green looks hella sexy. I take that green right there. That green's looking dope. Let's do that one. I'm all down for that green stuff. Okay. 
And if I wanted to upgrade it, got basic tires. Okay, so we got to unlock all these. They gave them to us for free in the preview. That's why I have a little cognitive dissonance going on right now. Is that in the preview, they basically let you fiddle around with the vehicle as much as you wanted. Let me... Get a bead on where I'm going for this. Oh, both of our things are like in the same spot. Cool. Let's be on our way then. If I run things over... We got coffee? Is it available? I'm off-roading right now, but I might be on-roading in just a minute. How come they don't call it on-roading? They just call it driving, but then if you're like off the road, they call it off-roading. I think we should call it on-roading from now on. That's what I'm gonna do. Like, ah, uh, yeah, you know, I gotta on-road over to the store later. Yep, that's what's happening. It's too late. It's done. The decision's made. The deal is done. Can I, can I grapple up there? Is that close enough? Oh, it is? Hell yeah. That seems wildly dangerous, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. Not going to question it for a second. Let's get inside some of these vans and vehicles and shit and see if we can get out of here. Little bit of liquor, a little bit of what looks like Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels is never a good idea. I've always maintained that Jack Daniels tastes like what I assume BB King spit must taste like. It's just like, ugh. People always try to maintain that for some reason that's like a manly drink or like a biker drink or something, but I don't know, man. I drink brandy, I'll drink vodka, but there's just something about that shit that sets me off my stomach. I just don't like it. Oh, shit, sorry. I didn't think there was anybody in here. I'll bet you didn't. Thieving little some bitch. Hey, well, relax. It's not like that. I was just looking for some parts to fix up my ride. I wasn't going to steal anything. If it's parts you want, it's parts you can damn well buy. Jacob Graves is the name. Kyle Crane. Good to meet you, Kyle Crane. Now listen here. These parts is mine. You want some? I'll sell you some. But ain't nothing for free. All right, understood. The mercenary like that. His new nickname is Jacob Metal Pants. Because essentially, Greaves' is metal pants seems fine to me. Got suspension parts, we got lubricants, we got all kinds of random stuff. What did he say that he needed? Either way, I'm buying all this shit. I got lots of stuff to sell, too. Well, not that much. Bolter tissue. Oh, yeah. I forgot you could do the research in this game. I forgot about that. I forget what he said he needed, but I don't think we need anything else here. We need the insulator from that power pole, though, I think. Is that the one? I can't decide if that's the one. That's not really a power pole. Yeah, I think that's my guy. I don't think they're just going to let me, like, have this. Like, normally I just shoot a grapple over there, but I don't think it's going to work like that. Let me get on top of this bus and see if I can get a good running start. We might be able to skip some of the bitch work if we can. There we go. Might be able to make our lives easier if we can just launch off the top. And considering I don't tend to be very good at this anyways... It might be a worthwhile plan. Vicious Katana, Juggernaut mod, some batteries. I'm not totally positive what a Transformer looks like. Oh, an insulator. Yeah, my electrical expertise is like non-existent. So I'm not sure what an insulator looks like. Is it one of these things over here? Hmm. Probably should have asked what an insulator looked like. That might have made my job easier. I think the game just assumed that I like know what an insulator looks like or what an insulator even is. I assume it insulates. Seems pretty reasonable to me to assume. Uh, I don't know if he wants this thing over here. Dude, you just kick it off? I can't imagine that thing's in real good shape if you're just going to fire it off to the side over there. I'm not trying to question your methods or nothing. There we go. That seems a little quicker and safer. 
Get down off the top of that BZ. And then we'll jump down this way. And then we gotta find this insulator. Probably would have been a smart idea to come up with some kind of plan here. Yeah, that machete's looking sexy. Let's do this thing. Somebody wheels this machete, you know he means business. Okay, maybe I mean kind of sort of business, but not really business. How much damage can this dude take? Oh my god. Like, wrap it up already. Yeah, I'll be damned if I let that work twice. Fool me once and all that. So where that insulator? There it is. All right. We got the insulator, now we just gotta go back to the dam, and I have no damn idea where that's at. You know you gotta get at least a couple either beaver related jokes or dam related jokes in whenever that happens. Jump in here, let's take a look at the map and figure out- oh shit. That's way down there. Oh my god. That's like deep. That's like really, really deep. Okay then. So we got a volatile nest over here. Hmm. Oh, we're not that deep out. Never mind. Okay. Take one look. We need to go a little bit west and a little bit south. So we've got the basic direction right here. Run the tracks for a second, and then out we go. Time for some vehicular chaos. We might bust up the car a little bit, but I think we'll be good. They also gave us the nitrous in the preview. Yeah, the nitrous unlocked and everything. Top speed challenge. I don't think I'm going to hit that while I'm climbing up a hill. Christ. Am I close to, the, am I close to this power plant? Oh, I'm in the... Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was the little blue guy. Apparently, I'm the little white guy. Okay, so we need to go. <laughs> it's confusing for me because I'm always the little white guy. Short people life problems, you know. I stick with it, but sometimes you just need a break. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. How do I work my way around here? Is there like a highway or some shit that I can hook up with? Because that's like way the hell down there. Looks like there's some kind of highway right there. I think I gotta flip this thing around and we just gotta find the road. Oh, you don't get badass XP for launching off of shit? Man, that's like 80% of the reason why I did it. What about those scarecrows? Can I break those? All right, we're back on the road again. We're heading southwards. If we get the top speed bonus again, we'll give it a try. Apparently that cone wanted to come with us. He wanted to be a part of our adventure. It is a pretty rad adventure. It's the sort of adventure that I think maybe someday might have a song written about it. Possibly. Not 100 on that, but it might happen. I'll go off this jump right here. Go off this jump right here. Yeah, buddy. Get that shit. Get vertical. Wreck that suspension. Just ba 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 when it hits the ground. Hey, my car. This thing's stolen. And you know the saying, drive it like it's stolen. It's exactly what I'm planning on doing. This dude's car is on fire, which is unfortunate for him. Yeah. Oh, dude, that was what was up. Oh my god, they're letting me have too much fun right now. They're letting me have too much fun. I'm gonna get myself into trouble if I keep this up. So it looks like we probably want to hook a righty over here. And then we just want to hook up with whatever road's available, which I think is... We gotta get to the south end of the river. Which means that we probably want to use the railroad tracks over here to cross. Maybe? Maybe? 
I don't know where the easiest crossing is. No crossing there, but there is a military outpost right there. There's a crossing down that way too, so we could just follow the river. I don't think that would be too horrific of a choice. What is this right here? An unexplored place. Let's hop out real fast. I might need to repair some stuff soon anyways. Let's have a little look-see. Clear the area, huh? I don't see anything around. What are you seeing that I'm not seeing? Oh, we got a couple of supply caches here. Might be able to eke some short-term sustenance out of these. Maybe get ourselves some cooler loot, who knows. Perfect. Medical supplies, and that looks like ammunition. What the shit is this? You need a military key card to open the chest. Okay. So maybe it's possible that we gotta like make a run on like a military depot or something like that in order to get the key? It said there was two unexplored thingies over here. There's special military supplies. And then if we turn around this way, it looks like they got something else for us. Oh, it's a it's a power transistor. Okay. It's a substation. Not the place where you can get a sandwich, by the way. Screws out of here. Get to the airdrop as fast as you can before the banditos do. Oh, I got this. Banditos don't know me like that. Oh, that's hella far. Never mind. I don't care anymore. Is there a crossing over there? It looks clear from here. Maybe I'll be able to cross over there. Let's get back to the car. I'm trying to stay on task right now. That dude's making weird noises at me, though. Where'd I leave my car at? That looks sort of like I could jump it. Where'd my car go? Oh, I left it down the hill over here. See, this is why I can't have nice things. I just lose them anyways. Shouldn't even bother to paint it. That's how I got myself in trouble. The second you paint it, you're going to lose it. But when it looks like shit, it's the cheap glasses theory. If it's cheap and it looks like shit, it'll be with you for the rest of your life. The second you spend a lot of money on something, though, or you put a lot of effort or a lot of sentimentality into it, I guarantee you, you can lose that shit or it's going to break like five days later. Oh, it was a jump, and it gave me 100 XP points. I'll go around this way. It seems like the other bridge is further the other way anyways. So if I can get around this little bitty. Hmm, we also got somebody needs help. Hop out, see if we can get off him. Stranger, please come here as fast as you can. It's important. Oh, I'm now a newcomer. Would the opposite of that be an old comer? Either way, this whole thing is taking a nasty tone that I don't want to think about. Let's get to the bridge. I think the whole game is basically just going to be like a rep grind. You just fill up the meter until they give you the next storyline quest. Seems to be that way. Our bridge should be right here. And depending... Yeah, we should be able to bust our way through, I think. Oh, Christ. No! No, 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 no. No steel magnolia, Spider-Man. Get off my cart. No! Wow, that was really effective. She got up in our shit like elbow deep. I feel kind of upset about that. I feel betrayed. I feel like deep down there should have been some way that I could have stopped that, but I probably didn't see something on screen because I was too busy panicking and getting punched in my throat hole over and over and over again. Let's hoof it on back to the car. Oh, good. It's not that far away. That actually makes me feel a lot better. I thought I was going to have to walk super far. Luckily, death does not feel so terrible. It should be fixable. Hopefully, she's not back over here. If she could beat the Christ out of me while I'm inside a car, I don't even want to know what she can do to me while I'm running around on a bridge in the middle of, like, a smoke screen. It's terrifying. Some scary ladies in this game. we got to watch out. 
They go hard in this country. I didn't realize that. My bobblehead did not protect me. It failed me. My talisman plus one was your massive failure. I think the... Ooh. Airdrop over here. This dude's throwing grenades. Why is it always bandits that get to these things? You ever notice that? It's always bandits. How did he... He hit me when I was behind him. This dude's got magical powers. This dude's Merlin up in here. That guy got left in pieces. Oh, this one's left. I was going to say, why is it still flat? I think they jacked it already. Nope. We're good. We're solid. Medical supplies, disaster. Okay, so there it is. You can turn those in right there. If you take those to the, sir, the little supply masters or whatever and drop them off, you'll get a fat grip of XP. I usually let them stack up so I got like 10 or 15 of them and then I turn them in and get a bunch of levels all at once. I think we probably want to cut pretty hard in a rightward direction. It looks like the highway branches off down here. But these are just some little dirt roads or something, so I don't know if it'll get us there. The hell is that thing? Oh, it's just a big water pot. Maybe it's used for irrigation or something? No idea. Now you know, Dying Light developers, I expect you... You gotta put bobbleheads up for sale for this game. If it's gonna be like that. If I can have a bobblehead in my car, I want real bobbleheads now. Get that taken care of. And by taken care of, I mean I'm just running dudes over at this point. There's no rhyme, reason, or any sort of just like finesse to the way that I'm going about my business. We have a gas station over here. Beelze Buffo. I feel like we might have issues. Yeah, I thought he was behind me. I felt like he was. I feel his nasty lack of breath on my neck. Oh, shit. He said, nope, not today. That animation is still rough. What is going on right now? It looks like a power attack might cancel that shit out. I can't really tell, though. Either way, more dead enemies. Wrap that Band-Aid on. So who's Beel's a buffalo? Is he actually a buffalo? What's going on with this dude? Is he going to be, like, immune to everything like the last guy that I fought? Looks like the ground is hot lava over here. What does he do? Probably spits on me, right? If I can't get him out of that goo pile, I don't see us doing a whole lot of work here. Oh, you can't get up on any of the barbed wire shit. Okay. I thought as long as I avoided the barbed wire, we were good. We were golden. There we go. Woohoo, that hurts. Okay, we don't want to do that no more. Yeah, it don't look like you can get too close to him. Oh, he's out of the puddle now. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. It looks like she just, like, constantly spawns, too. I think he spawns nonstop runners the whole time. I don't know if I want to deal with these shenanigans right now. 
Do I got a gun on me? What happened to my pistol? Man, I've been selling everything. I think I sold it. I vaguely remember selling it. That's going to make it real tough to handle issues here. Does he stay on the map after we mark him the first time? I don't know if he does. We're not really getting much done here. I need a gun, I think, in order to fight him. I think you gotta fight him at a range, and then you gotta dodge the little guys that are running around. You got a distress signal out there. Let's open up this gas station real fast. And we'll just go in on them. Man, she's staying on me. She's excited at the prospects of meeting me. All right, well, I'm going to get all this loot here. I think we're just about out of time for the day. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. I so rarely do. It's a habit that I have. I'm going to loot everything in here. Maybe we'll come across a firearm or something so we can go back over there and mess with Buffo. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light The Following. I will see you all next time. It's a blast to play the game with all of you. It's my pleasure and my privilege to get to do this every single day with all of you. Bye, everybody.